In our last camera review of the Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra, we asked in the comment section, would you like us to compare the S24 Ultra against the iPhone 15 Pro Max? And the answer was an overwhelming yes. So yeah, we are here right now to do that. And let's see, after two OTA software updates and Samsung bringing in some improvements in their camera, color tuning, screen and all that, how does the S24 Ultra compare with the iPhone 15 Pro Max? You want to know? Let's find out together. Okay, welcome back again to Smart Depot. I'm so excited to have you back. Of course, there were a whole lot of improvement on the S24 Ultra. We already did a video about that. But right now, we're going to peg it against the iPhone 15 Pro Max. And let's see whether Samsung has come up to that point where their camera pictures and video will be on par or even better than that of the iPhone. While editing this video, March 26, 2024, Samsung released a pre OTA with lots and lots of camera improvements. So that means we'll probably have to do a part two of this with this new update. Look at the difference from a user already on Twitter. It's very, very, very interesting. And while we're preparing for this video, we went through the rain and, you know, flat tire for canizer sending us a message and nowhere to be found <laughs> we bought the valve we couldn't see him and we were just under the rain and all that to make this content for you so please if you could just click on that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell icon i think it could make us to rejoice a little bit so let's jump right into it so let's start from the selfie portrait because this is where I really, really want to test out the iPhone versus the uh, Samsung. As you can see, uh, the saturation is more on the iPhone, but the you know edge detection is way better on the iPhone than on Samsung. In this place, they are a little bit similar, and I like the HDR on the Samsung. But I will let you be the judge on yourself. You know which one do you know? This is the main camera picture here and if you zoom in now you can see that both of them had the agitation very well as and this is another one i think iphone is a little bit more saturated you know but here is the portrait main camera here 2x and uh, i'm really really loving the hdr on the samsung uh, iphone got a little bit of the color tone better but um what do you think <laughs> i love the 5x this is the 5x you know you know portrait on the main camera um, so uh, let's move into the other part that i like so much so we're going to check out the zoom here from 1s to 20 up to 50 or thereabouts so one of the things here is that sometimes if you're going on a higher zoom it's actually difficult to focus on what you want to shoot but look at the results here at 1x, I think there is nothing much to, you know, separate these two. Uh, Samsung at this point is still showing a better, a little bit of better HDR, or should I say the picture is brighter. As you're zooming in at 5x, it's beginning to change. <laughs> uh, iPhone is becoming a little bit kind of more of HDR or more brighter. And here I also have to take at 20x and um, wow. So uh 30s i think iphone is beginning to fall apart here it's a very foul weather and this is a very good test so i can't really say an outright winner here so i'll share with the both the video zoom is actually where i'm so interested in to see how does this two phone compare in terms of the ability both of them have 5x you know optical uh camera <laughs> sensors and then let's see how they compare in video 1x video at daylight you know looks on par with this at 1x and it's very very interesting to see how they increase or get better or fall apart as we zoom so let's jump to 2x zoom and you really can't really really take them apart as we jump to 5x you just see iphone you know you know begin to gain a little bit of color and as we move to 10x um samsung Okay, let's bring Samsung to 10x. Now, um, iPhone seems to have the better HDR. Now, it's added color. <laughs> the algorithm has been moved to 20x. And that's really, really interesting. Both of these cameras is a shame that both of them can do only 20x. And it's actually difficult to stay on a focus if you're not using a tripod focusing on 20x. But when it comes to the zoom video uh, i think i will call it a tie but let me hear from you in the comment section <laughs> what do you think about uh, uh, the video zoom i'm also interested to know how the slow motion we you know work out you know okay let's come to slow motion of course um <laughs> iphone doesn't shoot 4k 
uh, on slow motion uh, it doesn't shoot but the two 120 fps uh, it's both uh, samsung can shoot that on 4k uh, let's go to now the 1080p uh, for samsung at 240 fps um well i i just i'll let you be the judge among that uh, which one do you really really prefer among the two when it comes to slow motion i'm a fan of slow motion sometimes you just want to slow things down and capture some beautiful moments i've been waiting for this one let's talk about the cinematic you know apple call it cinematic video uh samsung calls it portrait video so let's see how the two of them compare uh because for me iphone is still the king of smartphone videography but let's see where samsung has come up starting from the indoor video you know with various kind of lights uh the reflection of that blue light on the glass and the dirty glass that is reflecting and the lights you know flickering i think this samsung did it way better than the iphone in terms of this indoor videos um let me keep them side by side so you can see that how clean uh the samsung s24 ultra is compared to that of the iphone so let's go to another difficult focusing something once the iphone focused on those cases uh, it didn't actually switch focus even when it was coming close to the table and when you put it to the light on top it really didn't get out that best uh you know beauty of this light as you will see with the samsung s24 ultra so this is the samsung here there's focus breathing you know it's trying to focus either on the table or on the on the case now it's focusing on the new test but when it comes to this light you know the, it just nailed it i really really love this let me keep them side by side so you can see from the focus breathing one samsung uh, is trying to focus iphone just stuck on that case and got it well but i wanted to look at this light side by side and you appreciate how good samsung algorithm is in dealing with the lights so finally the most sweetest part for me is the cinematic video or portrait video as samsung call it um samsung portrait video was actually quite impressive but the problem is that if i'm going closer to the subject it is not focusing very very sharp like on the back hair and all that because because I'm coming too close uh, so the focal length here is is still too big so you can see it from this picture as I'm coming closer to the face the face become out of focus and soft uh, but once I move back a little bit with the Samsung you will see now the face is very much in focus I think this is a focal lens I think iPhone is using the wide angle you know to get a closer uh, a, a smaller focal length uh, for this cinematic video maybe Samsung will upgrade that with a feature software but you can see it now I like the quality of the picture coming out uh, look at the iPhone for crying out loud <laughs> the video uh especially the hdr as i'm moving back it's not getting that face it can do more of the focus for sure if i go closer now and i try to you know look at the uh, the hairs and try to go back around you can see the hair at the back of the head is way sharper than it was when i did that with the s24 ultra apart from that you know smaller closer focal length i think uh if you ask me to pick i will pick the video here cinema portrait video coming from the uh, samsung so let me keep two of them side by side so you can see what i mean this is the flickering that's flickering on the iphone uh you're not seeing that on the samsung um the hdr on the face is better and all that but i'll leave you to be the judge you know for yourself to see it now now this is where the samsung won't focus very well because you are coming close because of the focal length uh but apart from that if you can stay at this you know arm's length to record the cinematic video i think samsung's got it right so in conclusion i'm beginning to love samsung pictures more than that of the iphone it's more pleasing to the eyes it's brighter and in most cases it's more vibrant so yeah <laughs> but i have a problem with the edge detection on the samsung galaxy s24 ultra while their pictures have improved and their you know color science and tone has improved there is still a problem with the edge detection on portrait 
pictures and that's <laughs> i'm hoping they're going to look at that in their next update but let me hear from you in the comment section what do you think about the picture how they compare and also the video of course uh samsung is really really coming on par you know <laughs> with iphone and i'm really waiting for what iphone would do with the iphone 16 and also what samsung can do with their next april ota update where they actually want to focus on fixing a lot of things in the camera or improving it and until i see you in the next one it is peace. Subscribe. I see you.